Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop where a sovereign citizen was just pulled over because, well, he already has arrest warrants out for him for driving without plates and everything like that. Before he gets arrested, he demands to see his supervisor because they're violating his rights to travel. Never mind that he's violating uh, traffic laws to begin with. He just wants to travel around without having to follow anybody's laws. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh yeah, and I apologize in advance for the poor quality of this uh, video. It was done by him, not by me. Trust me, the pixelated mess that you see is the uh, original poster's fault. It's time, dude, invest in a better quality camera or something like that, because it needs work. Guess they haven't... This is what I'm fixing behind them. Is there an emergency? No, sir. You're driving a truck that does not have valid license plates on it. Uh, it don't need it. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but according to the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, you do indeed need to have license registration plates and everything like that. Every state requires them. Because you know what, if we didn't drive around with any insurance, then how would any injuries be covered or anything like that? If we didn't drive without plates, how would we know whose vehicle is whose? And the list of things goes on and on about the possibilities and issues of these traffic violations that you seem to have following you around. Okay. Do you have your driver's license proof? I'm not, I'm not uh, waving any of my rights. I want to go ahead and hand you this. Okay, uh, so you can officer, just so you know, my name is Officer Lightfoot with the College Station Police Department. Okay, the okay, stop this for the plate. You might right. want to call caps. Go, go ahead and hand you that. What is this, sir? You can read it. Car, I presume you can read. Is there no, no emergency? Oh, you're being stopped for a traffic violation. Okay, you might want to call your supervisor. I want to speak to your. Yes. Well, very rarely does calling a supervisor to the traffic stop ever help anything. And in fact, this case is no different because once a supervisor arrives, he does his job and assesses the situation and determines, yeah, you have a warrant out for your arrest, so therefore, you're getting arrested. Okay, he's on the way. Can you step out of the truck for me? Uh, what, what's your probable cause for me stepping out of the truck? You're under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? For the traffic violations, because you've been warned about this and cited for it. Uh, I went to I went to court. I went to truck. court on this. Truck, I would prefer your truck, supervisor. Please. I'd prefer Don't your supervisor get out here. Can you start this way? He's refusing to get out of the truck. Can you please get out of the truck, sir? Uh, I'll wait for your supervisor. Can you please get out of the truck? I'll wait for your supervisor. Okay. We can do that. Would you mind just keeping your hands up there? You can report me all you want, doing all that stuff. Can you put your hand? The other hand up there for me, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I just want to be able to see your hands, that's all. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, you've been... Uh, I respect you, you've been respectful to me, all right? So were you waiting on me? I'm sorry? I said y'all been waiting on me? No, I saw you pulling out from uh, Yeah, y'all been waiting on me. I saw y'all been stalking me. Y'all been stalking me. I recognize your truck. How do you recognize my truck? Because it's got the private tags on it. Yeah, dude, uh, San Franciscans are not exactly the brightest bunch out there. Uh, they, if they wanted to attract attention to themselves, putting uh, private plates on their vehicle is a, certainly a way they do that because, for one, they are not exactly legal, so they uh, attract attention of anybody who has the sense enough to notice it. And number two, well... These sovereign citizens are nothing but a bunch of morons anyway. Oh, so you're stalking me? No, I was driving down the road and then I made a U-turn because I saw you turn. Okay, you, you don't want to fill this out? No, you can keep that. If no, I want you to fill this out. Then You have to fill this out by law. Okay. 
Um, no, he is not required by law to fill that thing out if it's one of those sovereign citizen questionnaires that tend to pop up from time to time in these videos. No, it is definitely not the law that the officer fills it out. What's next? Are you going to present him with case laws that are completely irrelevant to the situation? Oh yeah, I already know that because I've already watched the video. He's going to present case laws and not even name them on camera. What an amateur. Okay, but just leave it right here for now. Okay? And, and okay. Uh, Supreme Court has also ruled that uh, uh, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and give you this too. Let me show you what I'm giving them. Okay, I'll take it, but just hang on to it for now. Okay? Now I want you to read it. We're waiting for my supervisor, right? Okay, yep. See, told you. He just presents it to the camera, figuring that the camera would be able to read it. Uh, um, nope, the uh, picture is a pixelated mess. Thank you very much, you dumbass sovereign citizen. Uh, and at least give us the name of the cases that you're trying to present on camera, so that way we can uh, at least identify where you're going wrong at. You can go ahead and read this too. Okay, just hang on to it for now, sir. Just hang on to it for now. You're refusing to take it? No, I'm not. I said hang uh, on but, to it for now. But you can read it, right? You can read it while you're waiting, right? Sir, I'm talking to you. Okay. I'm trying to be respectful and give you my attention. No, I don't need your attention. Okay, well, you were stopped for, you lawfully stopped. Lawfully? No. <laughs> I keep my stuff's blowing away. Can I'll you grab it? it? I'll go get it in a minute. All right. Is there a reason why you don't want to just get out of the vehicle and talk to me? Because, yeah, because you're a fuck. You're you're you 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 got a gun. You're holding your hand on your gun. I'm just resting my hand. <laughs> on my belt. Yeah, because no, you already you already said I'm under arrest, and you're asking me questions, so I'll go ahead and plead my Fifth Are Amendment. Are you resisting? Are you resisting arrest? N no, right I'm not resisting arrest. Okay. I want to know why I'm under arrest. He's already stated it several times, dude. You're under arrest for the your history of traffic violations. And yes, they are violations, and enough of them can get you arrested. You're not above the law. You're Why am I under arrest? For the track violations, you've that's been a, that's for, an arrestable you have, offense. You have been cited. Yeah, in the court. Time and, for those, which means that the citations are and, not working. It is oh, an no, 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 no. Have I been to court? I'm sorry. Have I been to court? I don't know what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you don't know what I'm referring to? Well, okay. I don't know the, the point of your question. Okay, uh, the court decides that, right? No, so whenever somebody is stopped for a traffic stop, citations are issued in lieu of arrest. Hey, Connor, you can you uh, can, can you call Billy and tell him to come and get Stormy? I'm getting arrested again. And your name again? My name is John Lightfoot. I work with College Station Police Department. Badge is 1143. 1143 Lightfoot. Yes, sir. John Lightfoot. All right, John Lightfoot. I'm turning my car off. Don't shoot me. That's fine. Hey, like I said, you, you've been nothing but cool with me, man. I, I, yeah, but, but I you... don't have an issue with you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing a constitutionally protected activity. Constitutionally protected activity. What are you talking about? Driving? Uh, no, I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Well, now we at least know he's been watching a lot of frauditors, too, considering he just said, I am doing a constitutionally protected activity. But anyway, dude, uh, driving is a privilege. Traveling is a right. We all have the right to travel. It's just that driving is regulated by the state. And with good reason, too. Would you want somebody who's not insured, registered, and licensed, who doesn't know how to operate a vehicle very well, to be driving down the public roadways uh, and have an accident and end up uh, harming somebody or worse? I mean, did you ever think about that? No? Well, of course you didn't because uh, you sovereign citizens, you sovereign only think about yourselves, the here and now. Okay, I got you. You got okay. me? So you want to read this? Like I said, once I'm able to do that and I'm able to do that safely, I will do that. Okay. I'm in um, Home Depot and um, the Home University. Depot and um, University and Highway 6. They were waiting on me, stalking me again. You saw me driving down the road and I recognize your truck. I recognize your truck because you do it, you drive around and you've been told multiple times it's not legal so not legal it you is legal 100 no i don't no i don't 
Well, if you read this, you would understand maybe. Once again, I'm gonna okay. try to hand it to him. Go ahead and put that back in the car. Mm. I've already told you. Do you have your driver's license on you, sir? Hey, uh, I'm at uh, Home Depot on University, Connor. University and um, I'm inside. Yes, he's not a supervisor, is he? You might want to. You might want to call Caps. Also coming. You might want. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 coming. You might want to call Couch. I'm having a meeting with Couch. You might want to call Couch. He's just refusing everything. And we we already know this one. He said he's already knows this one, so they've been stalking me and harassing no, me. that's not what I said. Yeah, it is what you said. Not what I said. All right, thanks, Connor. Are you able to hang with him for a second? Yeah. Name and badge number? Come on, Mr. Clack. Oh, you know me. Hey, my name well, is Rainey. I'm with the call station police department. My badge number is 1455. Hey, uh... My, my partner here, he asked you to step out of the vehicle. Is there a reason you're not stepping out? What's your probable cause for me to step out? So there, there's case law that says that uh, an officer... But you need probable cause. No, that is not true. Okay. Okay. With it being said, my partner has already told you that you were under arrest, so you do need to come out of the vehicle. Not being under arrest for what? I won't... I'm going to wait till your supervisor because I'm okay, scared of y'all. That's fine, sir. I'm, I'm physically scared of y'all. Y'all are, are going to fucking kill me. Okay. Well, I, I've got no reason to do that. Yeah. You got no reason to follow me around and talk to me either. Hey, y'all, I'm at a Home Depot on uh, University. If somebody wants to come and get Stormy, they're going to arrest me again. You want to read this? That's fine. I don't need to read that right now. I, I just need you to step out of the vehicle for me. Is your supervisor here? He's on his way. Okay, I'll wait for your supervisor. Once again, another vehicle just pulled up. I believe that's my supervisor there. Okay. Yep. Name your badge number. I uh, know. I've met Police you before. Department. Oh yeah. Sorry, I can't hear you. I've met you before. What's that? I said I've met you before. Okay. So what's going on today? They said you wanted a supervisor. Uh, yes. He says I'm under arrest for traveling. Oh, way to twist the words around. Way to make you out to be the victim rather than the other way around. No, you are under arrest for multiple traffic violations over a period of time. You are not under arrest for traveling. If that were the case. Everybody would be arrested, you bloody moron. Uh, I believe you said you were under arrest for, was it no registration and no license And no plate? license plate. The things you've been cited for multiple times. Yeah, and I went to court, and the judge hasn't decided if I can or can't yet. Okay. So you might want to read these. These are case laws. Okay. Will you, will you take a minute to read these? Okay. So you're under arrest. Okay. So we need to for under for road. under arrest for driving uh, for trap not driving but for traveling down the roadway. Correct. Do you have a supervisor? Uh, no, I don't. You don't have a you don't have a sergeant because you're just a corporal. Is there is there a lieutenant or somebody with brass? There's no lieutenants here tonight. 
There's no lieutenants here tonight. No, sir. Okay, you know I'm having a meeting with your uh, chief, right? Okay. You don't care about that either? The, uh, to be discussing this because y'all been... I'm not sure what that has to do with this situation. This situation because this is constitutionally protected activity. Okay. So, you're under arrest for the charges that we said. If you don't step out of the vehicle, you're going to be additionally charged with interference. Interference, sorry. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn my truck on so I can roll up my windows. No, don't do that, Mr. Pike. I'm just we'll going to roll up my windows. windows. After the fact. What's that? We'll turn your windows up after the fact. After you the can fact. Do it with the door open so that way we know that you're not going to take off on it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to crank it on. Well, now, there you have it, folks. The guy ended up getting arrested for all this. Uh, and I checked his channel. He hasn't said anything else uh, pertaining to this particular arrest. But then again, he po only posted this on his live streams about two weeks ago. So who knows what's been going on with it since then. But you know what stupid is as stupid does. And this guy has to be one of the dumbest people you will ever encounter. I mean, he just doesn't seem to learn his lesson. Pulled over numerous times for the exact same violations and never even bothered to read any of the laws that were put in place thanks to the Tenth Amendment. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.